Today on the channel, I want to wish everybody a scary Christmas, as today we're taking a look at and unboxing the Mythic Legion's Krampus. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Mythic Legions unboxing and review. One we've done a few of in the past, and we'll have a few more in the future of. But today, we're taking a look at the online exclusive Krampus figure. But for all your Mythic Legion needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And Krampus went up, oh, two, three weeks ago. It was a Sunday drop. They had an early morning and late afternoon, or early evening, I should say, on the Four Horsemen website as a special Christmas unleashing, unboxing, ungift, or whatever you want to call it, to all the consumers and all their fans out there. I got in fairly easy in the morning drop. It did sell out, and then the night time sold out as well. Uh, a very, very cool idea for the Christmas season, and shipped with enough time for Christmas. You know, if you're giving this as a gift or you wanted to have it on display before Christmas, there was a little bit of a window there. And it's very cool. As we know with Mythic Legions, like a lot of the other smaller companies that make figures, they usually have a pre-order system that goes for 60, 90 days, 30 days, depending on who the company is. And then about a year later, you get your figures. That was not the case with this Krampus figure. As it dropped, it was up for pre-order, it was for sale, bam, it was at your doorstep in like two weeks tops, I would say. So very, very cool. I do kind of wish I would have got two of these because the packaging is phenomenal on this. And we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. And we got a ton of comparisons to do so you can kind of get a, a sense of the scale on this figure. So we got a few other things that you might display this with, possibly. Uh, so we'll get to those as well. But let's take a look at the packaging first. Beautiful packaging on this one. Just absolutely beautiful. And first I'll say, I almost missed this as it was thrown in the box but I thought this is a really nice touch and it's one of those things that is very cheap very easy to do but goes a long way uh, you got a, an envelope of course but they gave a happy holidays card in here that you can use you can use this for anybody you want fill out say whatever you want inside there uh, very cool but on the back there's old Krampus how cool is that so just kind of a cool throw in you didn't expect to get I love stuff like that. A little bit goes a long ways with things like that. But the packaging, it was cellophane wrapped. I ripped the cellophane off so we could start unboxing. Uh, but beautiful, beautiful packaging on this one. Look at that. Love that kind of starry night. I mean, it just looks like a cold, uh, like if you're in the winter time, you're looking up at the sky, the stars on a nice cold night. That's kind of the feeling this gives me. But then you get the scary Krampus head. Uh, just uh, got his tongue out. He's ready to eat you. And then it's got Krampus name down below. Krampus has really taken on a life of its own the last few years, at least in the United States, I guess I'll say. Uh, growing up as a kid, never heard of Krampus, didn't know anything about it. It wasn't until I was in college, and I was I believe it was my college German class. We had some kind of holidays throughout Germany and stuff like that. Well, they talked about like Austria and stuff. And Krampus was a big part of that. And they showed like this big parade. Uh, there's a video on YouTube of it. Uh, crazy. Uh, people just as Krampus would you know, take the kids and all that. But I would say for North America, the United States, at least the Krampus movie from five years ago. I don't know how, what, what is time anymore? Uh, that really gave people like my kids their first induction, introduction to Krampus. So a uh, very interesting tradition. And I think the Four Horsemen are going to make this a yearly tradition. I think they're going to uh, repaint this one, maybe re-release it, maybe do some other things. Because they said this isn't the last we've seen of Krampus. So if you missed out, you don't want to pay the crazy prices right now, maybe wait a year and see what happens. Uh, I don't know, the future, you just don't know it sometimes. But uh, it sounds like there's going to be more Krampus-inspired figures or, or something to come. So there you go. But beautiful packaging here on the side. You get that Krampus kind of logo at the top there. Uh, and then on this side, you got a nice winter scene. Isn't that pretty cool there? A uh, nice uh, winter's, winter's medley. There it is. There's a little window box. You got all the warnings and UPCs. I guess no UPCs down here, just warnings. Uh, let's say uh, just uh, some... You know, websites, things like that. So nothing too important down here. Then on the back, we get a big blurb. It's going to test Kyle's reading ability. Let's get after it. Let's read this blurb. Let's see what it says. Krampus is told of in hushed whispers, for to say his name aloud invites his attention. Well, I've said Krampus like 50 times so far, so hopefully he's coming to visit me in my basement. I'd, I'd welcome him to unbox this with me. So Krampus, if you're hanging around the corner, 
feel free to come and sit by your old boy Kyle. Uh, the people of the frozen mountains know that this devil haunts them during the winter festival. Oh, I love a good winter festival. Eggnog, hot spice cider, Christmas cookies, oh, Krampus, what more do you want? While well, the good folks celebrate to drive away the chill and the darkness of the season, Krampus seeks out the wicked, especially children, for his punishment. Well, Emma, you're in big trouble. My daughter Emma, she likes to role play and cosplay as Chucky. Krampus doesn't like that, I'm guessing. Uh, any any he judges unworthy are whipped with birch reeds. Oh, birch reeds, nothing worse than, you know, I think my grandpa used to get birch weeds when I was real bad as a little kid, he'd whip me with those. Or maybe I just made that up right now. Uh, let's see, locked in shackles and stuffed in his basket. He takes these children away, perhaps to his lair. Though some legends, legends say to the underworld itself, never to be seen again. If you see the shadow of a horned figure or hear the discordant jingling of iron bells, take care. Krampus seeks fresh prey, or you have a goat on the loose, one or, one or the other. Choose your own adventure, as we say. But very cool there. But here's where it really blew me away. Now, this seems like a box that's open here. Well, get this. So it, it opens up just like any other box, but look at this. It comes off. It's like not magnets. I, I don't think it's magnets, but it just kind of sticks to it. And maybe it is magnets. I don't know, but it's, it's magical, whatever it is, because it sticks here, and then you can just remove the shell. And then what do you get when you remove the shell? You get a sweet background. You can display this Krampus up against this background. How awesome is this? This is very hard like book stock. This feels like a hardcover book stock. So just absolutely cool, absolutely inventive. Uh, I don't know if we've seen that in anything before. And you want, you just put the box right back in, folds back up and it doesn't come off. It doesn't break off. Genius. Those four horsemen, genius out there. That's what I'm going to say right now. Just absolute geniuses. So I love that a whole lot. You can set that up on your mantle for your Christmas display with Krampus with a nice background scene. Cannot beat that. But there's old Krampus in the big window box. How cool is this thing looking? I'm going to unbox this one off camera. There's a lot of twist ties and stuff like we get with some of these high dollar figures. Uh, so we'll be back after that. But there's this packaging here, that wintry scene all throughout. You get it on the side here. Nice light in the way right there. And you get another one up here. Window box we already saw. And then the back is very cool because look at that. It's Krampus walking up. What's he up to? Who's he going to get a hold of? And who is the architect that built this house on the edge of the cliff like that? I don't know. Dude. I'm no architect out there, but I play one at this table from time to time. And that just doesn't seem like the smartest move to build your house up on a cliff like that. But what do I know? What do I know? Uh, but obviously Krampus, he's, he's ready to come. He's ready to visit. So there it is. Old Krampus in the package. Let me crack him out and let's see what all the fuss is about. All right, we're out of the package. Krampus has been free to terrorize children all across the universe. So there you go. Background on this one, very cool in the package. Nice yellow kind of sunset. It's almost like uh, the darkness of Krampus and then the next day. It's just a, a normal day and you forgot all about it. Something like that. I will be saving the packaging for this one because why wouldn't you? So there you go. It does come with a little note in here, very foretelling. And I love a good note. I love a secret note. It almost feels like a message in a bottle. Like they said, hey, we're going to throw this in the box and hopefully they find this. But it's a message on the joints on Mythic Legion figures. So it says Mythic Legion figures can become tight after production. When posing Mythic Legion figures for the first time, especially during cold weather, recommended to heat up the joints. Now, this has been in my house for over a week, so it is up to room temperature. I wouldn't recommend any action figure if it's been in the cold out on your porch to open it up and start moving it around right away. Let it get to at least room temperature. That's what this is saying. That being said, I had a fight with the hairdryer. The tail on this bad boy, you had to plug the tail in like we've seen in other figures before. It would not go in. So I got the hairdryer. I loosened up the tail. I loosened up his uh, backside. Yeah, Krampus's backside. I heated it up with the old hairdryer, both of them. Still, even then, it does not stay in as well as I'd like. This tail just falls off at the slightest of touch. It should be able to move around a little bit. Uh, but I, like I said, I hair dryer both pieces of Krampus, and it still isn't having the best fit. So uh, you might be different out there, but that is my experience uh, so far with this Krampus figure. We're going to start off hot and see if he fits on a ringside collectible stand. You guys know I love a good ringside collectible stand. Use discount code KYLE, save 10%. He fits like an absolute glove on there. 
But let's take a look at his accessories first, then we'll get back to old Krampus, see what's going on. But a lot more accessories than I assumed with this one. We got those birch sticks there that he loves to beat the kids with. Oh, nothing like beating some kids with a birch stick. I might go find the old oak tree behind my house this evening, and we'll see if the kids get out of line, and I might give them a little uh, oak tree sticks just to see how Krampus would do it. Now, guys, I'm doing this for science. We're going to see how Krampus does it. That's what I'm going to tell the kids. But very cool accessory going on right there. Now, hand-wise, we get extra hands with Krampus. Not quite fisted hands, but boy, about as close as you get. You can put a little bit of something in there, but not much. Uh, just two kind of open hands there. Nowhere near as open as these two hands. But I feel like Krampus, he should have a fist, but I'm okay with him having kind of scary, gnarly, horror, monster Santa hands. So we got two of those hands right there. And then we got a little rope, and this is actually real rope, like you would get at a hardware store or something. So we got some rope to use an accessory there. Uh, and then we get a chain going on, a double-sided chain. So uh, if you want to have a dog collar match with Krampus, if you're a big wrestling fan, he could have a dog collar match against Roddy Piper or Greg Valentine, maybe, for instance. Or he could put these shackles on somebody like they're going to jail. He could put them on himself. He could have one on one arm, one on a little kid as he's dragging away. Uh, but beautiful chain here. I think it's a plastic chain, but it has a nice sturdiness to it. It isn't real heavy, heavy chain, uh, but very nice. And we've seen things like this in other toy lines over the last few years. Now, this is a cool one. This really gets you in the holiday season. You got old jingle bells going on, and they are real bells, so we can have those. You can kind of have them dangling from his fist, and we'll have all kinds of glamour shots, as you guys know, uh, along this video with stuff like this. Then he gets his backpack, uh-oh, and the lid comes off the backpack. I guess it's not even a backpack. It's just a, a wooden drum, but now the surprise begins. I didn't know we had stuff inside here, and we do have stuff inside here. So let's see what's going on inside. Whoa, losing stuff. Oh, now, now you're speaking my language here. So this is a nice accessory that I was not aware of. We got two skulls going on. Who doesn't love skulls? I absolutely love skulls. So we got two skulls. How cool is this for an accessory? And this is one of those things you can use with a lot of different things. Just cool to get skulls like this anytime. This one has an articulated mouth on it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And they actually are real heads. So you could plug these in on other Mythic Legion characters. That's one of the pros of Mythic Legion figures for a lot of people is the amount of customizing you can do. You can use these as heads on other people. You could paint them. You could use them with Krampus. Choose your own skull adventure. And as I always say, you know, I want your skulls like uh, Glenn Danzig used to say when he was in the Misfits back in the day. So there it is. That's a cool accessory. I did not have any clue was going to be in there. And then we got two hands as well. If I can get these guys out, and there it is. And I guess they're two skeleton hands. So you got two skeleton hands you can have with him as well. So a lot of different accessories. And then the accessories you're not using, you can stick in this uh, wire, wire wicker. Wicker? Wicker basket? I think we'll call it wicker basket. Uh, but I like that a whole lot. And then this is kind of a little strap thing. We've seen this with our Mythic Legions. Uh, I think when we unboxed Trapjaw, was it? I can't remember who we unboxed from Mythic Legions. Cronow or something they called him. Uh, but somebody told me that, yeah, they come with these. These are for something, and I already forgot what they're for. But it sounds like every Mythic Legion character comes with these. Uh, very interesting. And I like the, the uh, basket, how it has a top on it as well. I just think that's a uh, little attention to details go a long way. I will say it doesn't fit the best on top. Mine does seem to pop out a little bit, but I'm sure with a little heat, like they said in the note, they did send me the note saying heat it up. When in doubt, heat it up, I guess. Uh, that should be the Ninja Turtle motto as well. But a lot of cool accessories with this Krampus figure. I'm here for it. More accessories, the better. Just really cool. It's, it really is a deluxe package here. And I want to say this is about $55, maybe $65 with shipping. So it isn't like a Hasbro or a Marvel Legend or a wrestling figure. It's a little bit more pricey, but you got a lot of smaller production run. Uh, a lot more ground level, I guess, action figure game with the Four Horsemen. They're not Mattel. They are not Hasbro, as we've discussed on the channel before. But then you get to Krampus, and man, this is a thing uh, in nightmares of many kids out there. Uh, not me. Unfortunately, I didn't know about Krampus when I was a little kid, and I wish I did. I would have loved to have like, nightmares about Krampus, but I probably never would have. Uh, but very, very cool. It looks almost like uh, the mane of a goat, you know, kind of the furriness, a lion, goat, whatever you want to call it. But then the goat horns just taking this thing to a devilish level. Uh, the horns, always the symbol of Satan out there, the goat, stuff like that. 
Uh, just beautiful. And then this long tongue, that's what sets it over. You got all this black going on, and then you get that red tongue, and you get a little bit of red buckles down here on his loincloth. Like, he's out of the Masters of the Universe. Uh, but just a ripped, chiseled Krampus, as he only comes out during the holiday season. What's he doing the rest of the year? Man, he's doing some ab crunches. He's doing some planks. He's hitting the gym. He prepares. It's a year-long preparedness to get these kids. So he's got to be in good shape, and he is... Uh, Looks like he's gassed to the gills, uh, but he is definitely a big Krampus. This is one Krampus you don't want to run into on a snowy night. Uh, but then he gets a little bit more Mythic Legion style. I mean, it's all Mythic Legion style, but especially down at the armor. The armor on the uh, the hooves, I guess we'll call it. The hooves and the um, shin guards going on here, and then the side plates on the side. He's just got a lot of those Mythic Legion accents we've seen with a lot of characters. And of course, you're going to get some reuse, as much reuse as you can, because it saves money getting the most out of your molds, things like that. Uh, but just beautiful presence here. I love kind of the horned, horned hooved look that we get with this Krampus Goatman creature. Uh, just very intimidating, very imposing, but not super big. I would have loved to have seen this maybe one size bigger. Not to say he's a small figure. He's in your 6'7", seven, 7-inch seven action figure, 6'7", seven inch scale. I would have liked to see him just a little bit bigger, a little bit more intimidating. And that is a nitpick, but who knows? Maybe next year we'll get a little bit bigger Krampus. Uh, but he does have articulation, as he should. He's an articulated figure. The head moves all around, of course. You can pop the head off if you want to swap heads, do that kind of stuff. You get the arms that go all the way around, all the way right, side to side, all that kind of stuff. Nice tight joints on these, like they said in the note. Uh, the hands are removable, as we talked about. You get single-jointed elbows, single-jointed knees. You get thigh swivel. You get the ankle rockers you can move around. Of course, you got waist swivel. So just uh, bare bones articulation, but it works. That's really all the articulation I'm, I ever really need in figures. I don't need crazy, crazy articulation. I should say there is no pins. We see a lot of pins and pinless joints. We are getting pinless joints with this one. Just absolutely fabulous. Then the tail on the ball joint. I had some issues, as I mentioned, but a beautiful tail. Nice fur details to it. I mean, technically, this is a hairy bipedal creature, so this is even more in my wheelhouse as we go through. But I am so happy I got this. It's going to be a great year-round decoration, but also a great Christmas decoration in my setups. If you guys follow me on Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, or SirPaul64 on Twitter, get that out of the way. I post a little bit of my holiday setup out there, some of my holiday action figures. I always sneak them in on my wife and wait and see how long and how many days it takes her to notice that I put them up. This year, she was on the ball. It was like an hour. We've had it where it went weeks before where she didn't notice. So uh, it's always a fun game, and I'll be playing that with Krampus in the years to come. Fabulous, fabulous figure, but let's do a little comparison shots. Let's put him size-wise against some other people, kind of in that mythical, magical universe, maybe. Uh, I grabbed a Skeletor from the Masters Universe Revelation series. You can kind of see that height. I'd say they scale pretty well. Not, uh, You can definitely tell this is more of a fancy, more expensive figure than Skeletor, uh, but you can kind of see the scale work right there. Speaking of Skeletor, how about Masters Universe Classic Skeletor? I would say that fits in pretty good. Uh, Master Universe Classics, as we know, the Four Horsemen did help with some of the classic designs back in the day, uh, and a lot of uh, nods to the Masters of the Universe in the Mythic Legion line, as you guys are probably full aware. Uh, how about another one? Old Lion-O, a favorite of mine as well, so he kind of fits in that whole universe. This is made from Super 7 currently, off the old Mattel designs. So we got Lion-O, so we're getting a, a rogues gallery here, quite the lineup. And then the final one I got to compare it to, another Mythic Legions figure, the uh, Panthor-inspired, I think Purpleor was his name, Panthor-inspired figure. So those definitely look the best together. They look like they fit in their same universe. Uh, makes sense because, hey, guess what? They are in the same universe. But very cool size comparison, size differences there. Uh, and why not? Why not? We were talking handcuffs earlier. Let's throw in the big boss man. Krampus, uh, you're in for hard times when the big boss man comes through. So we got a little bit of comparison all over the place. But very, very interesting. Very happy I picked this one up. Some few issues out there. Trying to get that tail in was a bit of a pain. Going to have to figure out all these accessories and how they work best together. But I'm here for it. Beautiful accessories. Beautiful figure. Very cool time of the year. It means more getting a Krampus figure uh, around Christmas than if he came, let's say, in spring break time. It just would feel, hey, it's cool, but there's something more magical about it coming this time of year. And kudos to the Mythic Legions team, the Four Horsemen. A surprise drop 
a timely drop and really cool because we're so used to waiting a long time for our figures. This was about immediate uh, gratification is what this was about. So I'm here for it. I love it. I love Krampus. And that is the review. So tell me in the comments below, did you pick one up? you have any thoughts on Krampus? Any histories with Krampus? I told my history. I don't know if you guys have a history with him back in the day or not, but let me know in the comments down below. You made it this far. You might as well like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. Pro Wrestling Tees is where you can find me if you're looking to pick up a t-shirt and support the channel. Sir Paul 64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So there it is. So there it is. Scary Christmas to all. And I guess to all a good night.